Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast redefining self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, certified personal trainer, Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a busy working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained until I took action on my own transformation journey. I finally found the solutions to feeling confident and living a healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard and now I'm on a mission to equip you with sustainable tools to help transform your life from the inside out guilt free. Together, we will simplify your health and fitness into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but daily actions that light you up instead. So if you're ready to redefine self-care and step into your own self-transformation, then let's do this. You're listening to episode 138 of Self Transformed. Hey friend, welcome back to the show and happy Valentine's Day. I hope you are feeling all of the love today from your special loved ones. I hope you're giving love because that feels so great as well to be able to give that out. And also I hope you are giving yourself a little love today. Self-love is always so important like we've talked about here on this show numerous times and one of the biggest ways that I know that you can give yourself some love is by taking care of yourself. And if you're like, girl, I have tried everything and let's face it, we all know there's so many lists and suggestions out there of how to take care of yourself, but it's a matter of actually making it work in your life. So today, Monday the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, the February round of Self Transform You is kicking off. I am so excited for this round. You know, this time of year can be a real downer sometimes. I know seasonal depression is real. I get down this time of year sometimes too. I'm not outside as much as I'd like to because I don't want to be cold in all honesty. So what better way to start taking care of yourself now, building some healthy habits backed by habit strategy, and pretty much at the end of this four weeks, have a proven health plan customized for you that you're able to take within your crazy busy life. So just a reminder, Self Transform is my signature four week program. Each week we will build upon each week a new um, habit strategy based on different health areas. So first we start with your mindset, transforming the way you view yourself, talking a little nicer to yourself in the way you view self care, but also talk about some basic habit strategy 101. The second week we talk about my three step food freedom plan and how you can incorporate that habit strategy into eating to fuel your body and yes still having room for like cookies and margaritas you know those are two of my favorite things week three we talk about joyful movement i provide some workouts if that's something you're interested in or we just talk about how to make the time to work out and what that looks like doesn't have to be a crazy like hit workout or going to orange theory with me at a class it can be simply as moving and having that joyful movement in your life and having that habit strategy around it to do it and lastly we talk about how to keep this momentum going, how to use these habit strategies in your life, and how this health plan is going to work. There's a tracker to help you take it into your, the future and forever and all time. But also we talk about how to pivot when life changes, because it will. We go in through all these different seasons, and I think that's what kind of throws us off a loop sometimes, is something changes and our whole schedule goes down the, the toilet, for lack of better words, and we don't know how to readjust. So with STU, you're able to go through the program again and again and again whenever you need that shift. It's not very overwhelming um, because you can literally watch a video from me. I give you homework to take action. You'll have a one-on-one call with me for a little extra accountability and you'll have weekly texting and emails to help you keep going. So um, I am taking registrations up until this Wednesday the 16th. If you still want to get on in on it, you can go to selftransformu.com. That's just the letter U, like university, self transform you, you're tra- self transforming yourself. I love it. Um, but you can also text me if you have any questions at 773 904 2157. You can also sign up there for my weekly pump up text to get um, motivation, inspiration from me, regardless if you're doing STU. But you will get extra accountability through the texting service I offer in STU as well. So, friend, 
I don't know what you're waiting for. Come join us. I'm so excited about this round. SelfTransformU.com. Let's freaking go. Okay. So let's talk about today's episode. I was thinking about, you know, I've, I've talked about self-love on Valentine's, around Valentine's Day before on the show, and um, just thinking about what some conversations I've been having with, you know, you know, members at Orange Theory, with my clients and just friends, and, you know, I feel like self-care is such a buzzword, but it's becoming more... Um, known that it's not just like the fluffy stuff it's actually the hard stuff you do to take care of yourself and a lot more more busy working moms are realizing yeah i do need to you know take time for self-care but it's really overwhelming it's like where do i start so i thought okay we're going to talk about how to simplify self-care and make it easy but we're also going to talk about the importance of diversifying your self-care because it can't be just one specific area, okay? When we think of self-care, we think of it in a holistic way. When I say that, I think of mind, your body, emotions, your spirit, everything in a holistic view. And as I was trying to you know, explain the way I see this, I was thinking about um, a big change that's just happened in my life. So now I am fully self-employed. I just left my full-time job. It's been um, in the works for quite a while, but I'm really excited about it. I'm also kind of nervous, but it gives me so much extra time and um, and being intentional with the self-transformed brand and reaching more and more women and just <laughs> the the act of turning in my notice and letting go, like the momentum that's already happening, like I can't believe it. Like God is so good. God's so good. So it's a big change, a big self-love moment for me and, you know, support from my husband to do that as well. But what I've been doing over the past couple of years is diversifying my income. Okay, because with what I do, there's busier seasons than others. And I want a sustainable and consistent income coming in. That means I'm helping more women, but also to make sure that doesn't, you know, this one month I'm really stressed out about, oh my gosh, are we going to pay our bills and keep the business going? Um, and that can feel really overwhelming to put that pressure on yourself. Like, oh my gosh, I got to do all of these. But what I've done is I started really small with starting with one thing and then building on that as far as what made sense of what I was getting as far as feedback from my community. Well, it's the same thing with self-care. You know, you kind of think of it this way. I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket with my business. And I don't think you should put all your eggs in one self-care basket. So, for example, if I was just offering, you know, Whole30 coaching, that's great. But there's, honestly, that's kind of like a seasonal thing. There's certain months of the year where that's a little busier than others, depending on um, Whole30 HQ promoting the Whole30 and when a lot of people traditionally like to do it. Same thing with your self-care. So say as far as the big thing you're currently doing for self-care is exercise, moving your body. You know, that's one of my favorite and most important forms of self-care for me. But what if that was your only form of self-care and you get sick? or injured, or the yoga class time moves that you always went to. Now you can't even go to the gym. What do you do? Do you just roll over and give up? I've been there before. Or you feel off, you know, you get off because you are sick or injured or whatnot, or your kids are sick and you're not able to make the time for yourself. Do you just give up and not continue? You know, you got to be able to diversify your self-care so you have options to rely on when maybe that main form of self-care or your favorite form of self-care might have to take a back seat. So when thinking about diversifying your self-care, where should you start? So I'd like for you to think of it holistically. So like I mentioned earlier, mind, body, spirit. Now, I specifically have always, always, always focused on three areas of self-care. There's just three tiers of them. This makes it break it down simple within all my programs. It makes it simple for me when I'm thinking about what is my most important areas of self-care personally for myself because it's simple. It's less overwhelming. And really, (laughs) when I was doing research for this um, episode, I literally just Googled what are some different types of self-care. And the first... um, answer that popped up was 50 suggestions for self-care. And I felt overwhelmed just seeing that I didn't even open it because I was like, wow, there's all these different things I could be doing. That feels overwhelming. And now I'm putting too much pressure on myself that I could try to do all these things then I don't do any of it. Okay. So when I say just three areas, I focus on movement, mindset, and fuel. Okay. Fuel being fuel for your body, food. Okay. And I want you to start small, but these three areas 
that I focus on, they all influence each other and they will help you build up confidence over time. That's what's so magical about them. They influence so many other areas of your life. Like I can't even. <laughs> so I want, I have some questions I want you to ask yourself to help you think about where you would want to start with um, simplifying your own self-care. Where, what area do you feel like you need to start in? And then think about how you can diversify that over time. And I'll kind of explain how to do that. So I want you to ask yourself first, how do you feel about those three areas that I just mentioned in your own personal life? So what area do you think would be the most beneficial to you right now? Would it be moving your body more? You know, some type of joyful movement every day? Would it be your mindset, you know, focusing on gratitude, journaling, you know, talking nicer to yourself, spending a little time in prayer or devotional with God? Or maybe it is food, like you find yourself emotional eating or you find yourself um, using food as to relieve stress or you're using, you're mindlessly eating and not feeling the best because you're not eating the best for you. Okay, so ask yourself this, even take out a pen and paper. How do you feel about these areas, these three areas of your life, movement, mindset, and food? And which area do you feel like would be the most beneficial for you to take charge of right now? Okay, so I want you to also ask yourself, what kind of self-care are you doing right now that is working? What are you doing right now that is working? If you're like, girl, I'm doing nothing, <laughs> then pick one of those for three areas that I just mentioned, movement, mindset, or food, and think about which one do you think you'd like to start with first. But think about, reflect, what, what kind of self-care are you doing right now that is working? What are you doing right now that isn't working? What are you doing right now that isn't working? I mean, we can always go back to those three areas as well, but you know what I'm talking about when you're like, man, this just can't go on with me running myself ragged all over the place. I'm not, you know, taking the most with my time. You know, what area do you feel like you could improve in? I want you to ask yourself, why do you think is it important to take care of yourself in those three areas? So movement, mindset, food. Why is it important to take care of yourself in those areas? Okay. And then from there, you've, a you've asked yourself these questions. You might have <laughs> come up, it might be a little tough love for yourself. You know, like we talked about on the episode last week, episode 137, talking about tough loving yourself, right? Not just tough love like from a coach, like from me, but tough love from yourself. Then you've decided, okay, all right, I really want to focus on um, my mindset. Okay, so you're like, okay, that's the area I feel like I need the most um, improvement on. I need to focus on that. I know that's going to help in these other areas too. Great. So of course, from there, we're going to talk about habit strategy. So as far as mindset goes, you know, I first thing I would do for all three of these areas as you're starting to build onto your self care is to do a habit inventory. And as always, you know, I have a free download for a habit inventory worksheet for you to figure out where all your time is going. So that's at bit.ly slash habit inventory. It's also linked in the show notes for you, friend. But you can download that and use that in the prompting questions within the worksheet to help you figure out where all your time is going. You can even see maybe some triggers that are making you maybe not talk so nice to yourself if you're focused on mindset. And think about the habit strategies we talk about as far as how you can reverse that script and do something else besides that negative mindset and turn it into a positive self-talk opportunity. Okay, so what area do you wanna work on? Use the habit strategies we talked about. Download the habit inventory. That's a really, really great place to start. And then just try one area at a time and lather, rinse, repeat. Go back to the beginning. So, okay, you figured out your mindset. You know, you've given it a, given it a couple of weeks. You're in a nice flow. Okay, you're like, now I want to start moving my body more. I'm talking nicer to myself. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. I'm going to start moving my body. Okay, go back to the beginning. Do a habit inventory again. See where you can use the habit strategies like habit stacking, um, the cues, the routines, rewards that will help you start making that part of your self-care routine, just your daily routine too. Okay, and then you can try the fuel from there. And like I said, all of these areas influence each other. They're keystone habits, which we've talked about a ton on the show. And we dig deep into that, deep, 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 deep into self tra transform you with the daily five habits. But you know, if you're in the program, what that means. <laughs> but they all influence each other. And over time, that doesn't feel hard to do these things. And it makes self care so much more simple. And now you've diversified it. Okay, you have these other areas working for you to help take care of you 
in a holistic fashion. And guess what? I want you to always evaluate how these areas are working for you and maybe how they're not working for you anymore. Maybe your habits or your um, season of life and your routines have changed. That's okay. Just go back from the beginning and restart. This doesn't have to be like a year long process. This can literally take a month just taking it week or a week or two each area. Okay, so I hope this made sense to you. It kind of helped you simplify self-care just a little bit more. Go back if you're listening in the shower or you're driving, get a piece of paper and a pen out. Think about those questions that we asked at the beginning, how you can be taking better care of yourself in regards to movement, mindset, and your food. Think about using that habit inventory worksheet, reevaluating each of these areas and figuring out how you can use habit strategy to make the time to take care of yourself. Just these three areas in one little piece at a time. And I tell you what, friend, you're going to have so much momentum. You're going to build so much confidence and you're going to feel so freaking amazing. I can't wait. If this episode resonated with you, I'd love it if you would come join us in the Facebook community as well. It's linked in the show notes. That way we can connect further over there. I'm getting ready to drop a poll to see what the girls would like to have for the March mini workshop. I do a mini workshop every month. It's like 15 minutes or less because girl, I know you're busy where we just do some free coaching together and give you some free resources. And I always have the ladies in their vote on it. And we share a lot of funny memes and <laughs> real life stuff happening over there as well. So that's linked in the show notes. Again, you can join us this Monday today up until Wednesday, the 16th of February for Self Transform You. Reserve your spot now. I only have a couple left. It's at selftransformyou.com. We start a new round every month, but I tell you what, it's never going to be the right time. I've said that so many times. Oh, wait till things slow down. (laughs) It's not going to slow down. You might as well take action and watch the momentum that's going to build. And we'll help you simplify and diversify your self-care even more, even deeper together within Self Transform You. And I hope you'll stick around. Make sure you listen into my episode dropping this Thursday. Um, I always have a habit hack on Thursday. This one is all about experimenting with your own body, food, and habits. I have a very exciting announcement. It's around the whole 30. I'll share more on Thursday for you, but hint, hint, wink, wink. It has to do with something about plant-based. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to share my story and share a little bit about what I've learned with that, but stay tuned for Thursday. In the meantime, I will catch you on Instagram, in the Facebook community, and always here on the Self Transformed Podcast. All right, gang, I will see you later this week, and I'll see you all in STU later today. I'm sending out my text here really soon. See you girls. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you love today's show and know your girlfriends need to hear this message too, then grab a screenshot, post it to your Instagram stories and tag me at Emily Nichols too. because the more mamas out there hearing this message, the more empowered we'll all feel to take care of ourselves so we can pour from a full cup. Or the number one way you can thank me for this podcast is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas will find the show here too. Love you and appreciate you, girlfriends. See you next time.